And tonight we are working for you with live team coverage. As the Cavs and the Commonwealth come to terms with a devastating loss. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. The search for the suspect may be over, but the search for answers is just beginning. A deadly shooting at UVA left three football players dead and two others in the hospital. It happened while students were returning from a class trip late last night. 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray has been following this breaking news all day. She begins our coverage tonight. She joins us live in Charlottesville, where many are mourning the loss of these promising athletes. Alyssa? Yeah, it's a somber day here in Charlottesville and Scott Stadium has become a makeshift memorial as students continue to bring flowers to pay tribute to those three UVA football players who were killed. Got a whole future ahead of them. Just to see them gone. This is just heartbreak. Who's defensive tackle Aaron Falmui on grounds mourning the loss of three of his teammates. Deshaun Perry, Lavelle Davis Jr., and Devin Chandler were the three football players killed in Sunday night's shooting. I came over here because this is where they got shot. And I just wanted to come over here just to be in their presence one last time. Lavelle Davis Jr. was a wide receiver from South Carolina. In a video posted by UVA in 2021, Davis said outside of football that he liked to hang out with his friends, watch movies, and he read Shakespeare and the Bible. He was also a big part of the Who's offense. Deshaun Perry was also killed. He's a linebacker from Miami, Florida. His parents were heartbroken by the news. His dad saying, quote, I always told my son I love you and just keep working. I believe he let me know something tonight. I knew something was wrong. I love you, man. Those who knew Perry say he was a rising star. He played Saturday against Pittsburgh, wearing jersey number 41. The third victim is Devin Chandler, who is a wide receiver and a transfer from Wisconsin. The impact of his death being felt by the Badgers football team as well. The team tweeting its condolences and says that counseling and support services are available for their student athletes. As for the Cavaliers, they're just beginning the grieving process of three of their own. We just got to stay together and uplift each other so and keep their family in prayers. Now, officials are not releasing the names of the victims who survived, but we are being told that one of them is running back Mike Collins. Live in Charlottesville, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you.